consider a dam having a gate fitted with cylindrical pipe. Now consider that a circular ring is held in a stream of water for measuring the amount of water flowing through it. The amount of water flowing through the ring will depend on the orientation of the ring. If the ring is held normal to the flow of water, the maximum amount of water will flow through the ring and the amount of water flowing will be minimum. Then the ring is held parallel to the water flow. It is clear that in this situation, the area of the ring is to be treated as a vector. Obviously, the direction of area vector should be along normal to the plane of the area. To tackle this situation mathematically, we will consider an area element ds represented by the vector ds such that the arrow representing the area vector ds is perpendicular to the area element. The length of the area vector ds represents the magnitude of the area element df. In case vector n cap is a unit vector along normal to the area element ds, then vector ds is equal to ds into unit vector n. Conventionally, the area vector representing an area element of a closed surface and closing a volume in assigned direction such that the area vector is directed along the normal pointing outwards from the closed surface.